Good morning, everyone in year four. Great job with those fractions questions yesterday. We're going to be having a look at some more today. We're going to look at comparing fractions today, something a little bit different. So I want to compare these two fractions. I need to know which one is greatest. Is it two fifths or six tenths? Now, for me to work out which fraction is greatest, I need to uh, make sure my denominators are the same because that will enable me and help me to find uh, the same fraction. So I'm going to convert two fifths into tenths. Now to convert two fifths into tenths, I know that to get five to ten, I'm, I multiply, if I can do a multiplying symbol properly, uh, by two. Then, from what I've done before with fractions, I know whatever I do to the, my denominator, I must do to my numerator. So I must multiply two by two as well. So that equals four. So I know that two fifths is equal to four tenths. This makes it really easy now for me to compare four tenths and six tenths. Now the only numbers that I need to look at are my numerators. I know that 6 is greater than 4, so 6 tenths is greater than 4 tenths, which also means that 6 tenths is greater than 2 fifths. So to help you just one step at a time, first step, convert the fractions so both denominators are the same. Second step, Compare your two fractions with the same denominator. Third step, convert it back. Your symbol stays the same. The questions you've got today on my maths, the questions you've got today on my maths look a little bit like this. They are asking you to compare these fractions. So comparing one sixth with four eighths, remember what I've said, convert the fraction Compare the fraction, and then you're away. So you need to convert sixths to eighteenths for this one, eighths to thirty-twoths, and moving through like that. Then you've got your symbols underneath to move and put in where you think. Right, look at the first set of these questions on page two. So choose the correct fraction to make each statement true. So you've bought something that's six sevenths that's greater, that's less than six sevenths, but greater than one seventh. So how can you figure out that number to be in there? I'd convert these sevenths into fourteenths, and then you should be able to place the right number in over there in there. Same over here. Remember, convert your denominator so they're all the same. Convert the fraction, then you can compare the fraction. Convert the fraction, compare the fraction. Right, for these questions further down here, we're going to have to convert these fractions to decimals and put them in order from smallest to largest. So two steps there. So for these different ones, we're going to have to have a look at something that we've done before. So we've had a look at converting fractions to decimals before. We know that four tenths, now think back to when we had that grid in front of us. If you need to go back and watch that video, go back and watch that video. But you should be able to know that four tenths is equal, thinking about that grid, four of those tenths shaded in. So four tenths is equal to 0 0.4. When we look at converting 26 hundredths, because we've got 100 underneath there, we know we're dealing with two decimal places. So we're going to have 0 0.2. Six. So when we've got 10, we've got one decimal place, and we've got 102 decimal places. Right, 12 25ths. To convert this one into a decimal, we need to do a couple of steps first. We're going to convert our fraction to hundredths. When we've converted it to hundredths, that makes it easier for us to convert it to a decimal. So, to get from 25 to 100, if we count in our 25s, 25, 50, 75, 100, I've multiplied 
25 by 4. So I know from previously, whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So 12 multiplied by 4 is equal to 48. Now, very similar to 26 hundredths, I know that it's equal to 0 0.4. Eight. If you need to look back at that previous video at converting fractions to decimals, do that. So that should be able to help in you when you're looking at converting 9 25 to a decimal. And then think about, I'm not showing you how to do 2 fifths, but how could you turn 2 fifths into tenths? And then how's that going to help you to convert your fraction? All the best with these questions, guys. I look forward to seeing how you get on with these because they are hard. Take your time. You might need to have a few goes at these ones.